Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain how to calculate confidence interval using Max of Excel and how to draw the error graph. Okay, suppose this is the data of two groups, group A and group B. So there are um, data of certain people, and also in group B, there are data of certain people. Let's imagine this is a hypothetical data of a variable, let's say the score or the marks is obtained in the examination, or maybe A's or something like that. Okay. So first of all, let's calculate the sample size. So to do that, use count function. So equals count, and then close the bracket. You can see this in formula bar as well. Hit enter. Similarly, to calculate the mean, use average command. Equals average, and then select the data, and then hit enter. To calculate the standard deviation of the sample, use equals to stdev dot s so stdev dot s is the formula used for calculating standard deviation of the sample and then select the data range so up to b16 okay b16 similarly uh, let's set the alpha value as 0 0.05 so in the same way you can calculate for group B as well so so what I did is I calculated the sample size mean and standard deviation for those two groups now to calculate confidence interval I use the command equals C O N F I T E and C E confidence dot T okay so using T distribution so uh, I calculate the confidence interval so to do that confidence dot T and then start the bracket and then you have to specify alpha value standard deviation and uh, size of the sample size so alpha is 0 0.05 and then comma and then standard deviation is here and then comma and then sample size is here so you can see this in the formula bar as well and hit enter similarly you can calculate for next group as well so now you have the confidence interval and you have the means so now in order to create the error graph first of all you draw the bar graph for uh, the mean okay so you select the means so if you want this legend then also you can select these legends using um, so let's select this and press the control key and select this so here um, go to insert and click on this one so group A and group B and these are the means okay mean values so you can even change the colors okay let me change uh, sorry let me go to home and then select the color okay and then you can go to format sorry design and then add chart element and then data label outside end so let me add the data label outside end okay So now in order to add the error graph, so what you should do is go to chart element again, go to error bar, so more error bar options, okay, and on the bottom click on custom, specify the value, so here on the positive error value you can select these confidence intervals on the negative error value delete that and then select the confidence intervals and then click on okay so in this way you can uh, draw the error value okay draw the error um, graph so here you have the means and the upper and lower limit of uh, the confidence intervals okay so you can add more elements like uh, chart title like comparison um, 
comparison of scores so you can add other chart elements uh, accordingly so thank you so if you like the video please share it with your colleagues and uh, do not forget to like the video and uh, um, also hope to get your constructive feedback thank you bye bye